This was a difficult research article for me to review and in, and in turn present to you. Primary reason being is this. If this was a tangible supplement, supplement A, supplement B, supplement C, to, re, to basically have the outcome or the results from this particular trial, 4.4% increase in mean speed, 212 meters additional distance on a 30 minute treadmill at a hard level, as well as making or basically the participants experiencing more pleasure during the running, as well as I don't know what the other one is, but you see it just the same, arousal. I don't know how that interjects, but still just the same. I'm not gonna add any publisher bias. I would have no problem presenting it to you. But here is the issue. And now keep in mind, the research study itself was underpowered, meaning it's be for more participants in the future. Uh, but however, though, you know, it's, it's, it leaves you in an immediate effect where you want to look for the confounding, uh, the mistakes, the biases, the, uh, the you know, basically type one, type two hypothesis errors and so on and so forth. But however, though, again, if it was actually a supplement, I'd have no problem presenting it without hesitation. But we're dealing with a color, just a color. In this case, pink, pink, which yielded an increase in 4.4% average speed, 212 additional meters run on a treadmill for 30 minutes at a difficult level. So putting the prejudices, the biases aside, and the way that we can basically um, reject a research article because it is something in which we were unfamiliar, push aside, let's get right into the research as follows, which yielded this or these particular outcomes which are pretty consistent and beneficial in this basically um, randomized crossover controlled study. But to proceed, here we go. Pink drinks can help you run faster and further. Now, of course, when I read the title, I'm going pink drinks, pink drinks. What is that, a new supplement of some sort? What do they got in it uh, per se? Because I want to run faster and further. So what is in this pink drink? Let us proceed. During the study, participants were asked to run on a treadmill for 30 minutes at a self-selected speed, ensuring the rate of exertion remained consistent. Throughout the exercise, they rinsed their mouths with either a pink artificially sweetened drink, I think it was sweetened with sucralose, uh, that was low in calories, or a clear drink which was artificially sweetened and low in calories. To proceed, both drinks were exactly the same and only differed in appearance. The researchers added food dye to the pink drink, obviously, to change the color. The results. Again, take the color pink out and just say supplement A. And here we proceed. The results show that the participants ran an average of 212 meters further with the pink drink, while their mean speed during the exercise test also increased by 4.4%. Feelings of pleasure were also enhanced, meaning participants found running more enjoyable. Now, in introducing a little bit of publisher bias per se, and basically bringing more into the study than the outcome is presented here, think of an individual before they go to the gym, they're working out, or just basically someone getting back into the workout itself. If there is a way to make, i.e., the return to the gym more pleasurable, uh, just by doing something as simple as drinking a drink that is pink, you know, or basically rinsing your mouth out with it, whatever per se, then so be it. It doesn't have to be complex or something with a side effect or whatever it is. If that type of color, we'll just say color therapy, because we are finding a lot of colors do influence the biochemistry quite significantly. But however, though, just something simple, basic, and or if someone was designed a food and they refer to gastronomy in here, uh, or a supplement per se, just by changing the color to pink, which is usually identified as something being sweeter and more pleasurable, obviously, uh, then why not? But to proceed as follows. The results show that participants ran an average of 212 meters further with the pink drink, while their mean speed during the exercise test also increased by 4.4%. Feelings of pleasure also enhanced, meaning participants found running more enjoyable. To reiterate. 10 healthy and habitually active individuals, six male, four females, completed two experimental trials in a randomized single-blind crossover design. 
to repeat again, randomized, single blind crossover design. Each experimental trial consisted of a 30 minute treadmill run at a self-selected speed equivalent to 15, uh, basically which was hard or heavy in a per perceived exertion scale. Now we're gonna go to the full study, which explains it a little bit more in detail, which we kind of want because it seems too good to be true, but to proceed. The influence of color on athletic performance has received interest previously, ranging from correlations between the color of an athlete's, athlete's or sports team's uniform and sporting success, to more casual relationships where the color red has been reported to increase the feeling of anger, the concentration of testosterone, and even generation of muscular power during exercise of differing intensities. Additionally, the role of color in gastronomy has received widespread interest with a vast array of cross-cultural research published on how visual cues or color can affect the subsequent flavor perception when eating or drinking. Henceforth, the pink, a higher perception of the taste of sweet, even though both drinks were exactly the same. An interesting and novel finding from the current study seems to combine the art of gastronomy with performance nutrition as adding a pink colorant to a non-nutritive, nutritive, artificially sweetened solution not only enhanced the perception of sweetness as quantified in the pilot study, but also confirmed in the post-trial interviews, but also enhanced feelings of pleasure, self-selected running speed, and distance covered during a 30 minute run. It is clear, or pink, that the future research, had to add that in. future research is required to explore this potential relationship in further detail. To conclude, mouth rinsing with a pink, non-chloric, artificially sweetened solution improved self-selected running speed and total distance covered during a 30 minute run at an RPE of 15 minutes hard in habitually active participants. The improvement in self-selected running speed and total distance covered was also paired with an increase in the feelings of pleasure reported by the participants during exercise. Further research should seek to elucidate the link between mouth rinse color, perceived carbohydrate intake, and psychophysiological outcomes in exercising humans. Obviously, humans. Now keep in mind, I want to put up the basically the intervention here so you can get a a little bit more detail in what they uh, utilized and how they did it. Uh, but think about it this way. If just something simple, if someone's, I mean, if you could basically correlate, and this is going outside the outcome per se, but just the same. Uh, if someone's feeling down or basically fatigued or run down, doing something as simple as basically drinking a beverage with the color pink doesn't seem to hurt if it's going to increase uh, beneficial outlook, so to say. In this case, helping with the run become more pleasurable. Again, it is a great study, even though it may appear lacking in substance. Still yet, once those personal biases are taken out and you just look at the outcome itself, it's actually pretty darn spectacular. Again, gratitude to the researchers. This is extremely interesting to individuals looking to increase performance, get back into workout routines, or anything else where they may need a little additional motivation uh, just by doing something as simple as gargling or drinking with a beverage that is pink as opposed to any other color. Whoops. Why not? That is the point to bring her across. Thank you. Gratitude. Humbly, as always, appreciative of you watching. Look forward to see you all once again next week. Catch you then. Bye.